Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira X-Ray tutorial, we are going to learn how to execute the test cases in Jira X-Ray. So we have created the test execution. We have added the test cases to the test execution, which will mostly be the, be the responsibility of the test lead and managers. And then they'll be assigning the test runs to the team members. Okay. And then team members, test team members will go ahead and execute the test cases. So let's see how you are going to execute as a team member and then record all the details so if we go to the let me navigate from right from the beginning so for example you have been assigned the execution how it will look like all of that so we'll go to the project and in the project you will be required to go ahead and execute the test cases right now if we talk about the issue type so for example you simply need to now overall if you're part of the scrum team you will be having the visibility of the work item on the board itself something like this okay so say for example this is the particular story that needs to be tested so you'll go into the detail of the story and you should be able to if your lead and the team has basically managed things properly and put the linkage properly you should be able to see the test executions in this link as well okay in this relates to field as well but then the linkage has not been maintained so that's why you are not able to see that okay so ideally this should be done so let's quickly go ahead and we know that the execution that we created was the number 27 now let's link this particular execution to our story okay and the story number is hcsp 14 so that we can see that in the story itself right so this was the execution what we need to do when we are creating the execution we need to make sure that we are updating the links okay so you'll see link issue click on the link issue and then simply you'll say that relates to and we'll select the user story for which this particular execution is so for example this one okay and we'll link it so this will happen up front itself you don't have to worry about it now if you go to the story so as a tester now you'll go to the user story and say for example you are going to see that what execution has been created and go to the detail of this execution okay now here you will see that in the execution you will see all the details are available here okay and then you will see this test run assigning now this is where you should be looking at what test cases are assigned to yourself okay so you your name will appear here whichever test cases have been assigned to you in the test execution and then in our in order to start this particular test execution you simply have to click on this little icon to execute okay or simply click on the ellipses here three ellipses and then you will see that there is an option to assign so which is which your lead will already do and then also change the rank accordingly which i have covered briefly about these executions right so if you simply go ahead and click on this execute you will see that the execution window will open for this particular test case and you can start the timer basically to track the time when the execution actually started and how much time it took so you to start the timer simply click on this timer icon and the timer will start okay now what you need to do is you simply need to go ahead and see what are the test details right so what is the description uh, the test issue link so basically this is testing this particular user story right uh, and then the other details now this is the generic test case okay let me go to the one that is uh, that is the step so let's execute this and then in the activity you will see that you will get the activity right now if the it is a generic test case you will see that we have simply a definition here of what exactly needs to be done all right so verify the student leads are created successfully when a backend user fills the student form and submits it okay so in your application you will go ahead and launch the application you will perform the required details right because it is a generic test case it's not step by step so you simply need to follow the the actual step that you need to follow as part of this particular definition that is defined here right and if you have any findings for the particular test case say for example the test case didn't pass right or there are some issues so you simply go to the finding section okay and attach the evidence any logs screenshots you can simply attach in the in the evidence section you put your comment there and then you raise a defect if it is not working right so simply click on the plus and you create a defect directly from here and that will be linked to this particular test case already right so the link will be created automatically 
or if you have created a defect already you simply click on this add defect and you can associate an existing defect to this particular test right so i don't think there is an existing defect that is there in this instance so that's why it's not showing here so that's absolutely fine not a problem but you can go ahead and create a defect upfront from here okay so all of the details the screenshot will be here in the evidence uh, that you can go ahead and click on add evidence and put all the files there okay and then your defects will be in the defect section and your comment will be here recorded whatever comment you will be putting here okay so once everything is all good um, the test case has failed you simply mark the test case as failed so you have to mark this click on this failed icon here and you will see the execution status has been marked as failed the timer will update the time of the execution of the test case right so two minutes 50 seconds has been recorded here okay and then you will see when it started when it finished on all of those details will be recorded along with the activity here in the activity section right so from to do to fail right so this is how you are going to execute now if you have to execute the next test in this execution so simply click on this next icon you want to see the previous test click on this previous you want to go back to the test execution click on this upper arrow okay let's go to the upper arrow and execute the test case that has the steps in it or the general um, manual test case so you'll see that two test cases have failed one is not executed one is still to do so the third one is the cucumber test case type let's execute this one right so say for example I want to open this so usually the icon will be because it has been already marked as failed so that's why the icon has changed but usually you will get the triangle icon to start the execution and then the window for execution will be exactly similar so you can start the timer when the execution has started okay and you will see this is previous execution status which has been marked as failed but ideally it will be in to do okay and then here in the test description and the details you'll see all the steps right so what you can do here is you can simply go ahead uh, step by step right so you can see that yes what are the steps basically so there are four steps okay and then in the steps prior to steps you will see the precondition is there as well right so before you can go ahead and execute the test case what is the precondition so open the app url login using valid username and password so you will do that action in your application you will be logged in using the valid username and password in your application okay then we'll start performing the actions okay this is what the testing is this is this is basically what the test execution is basically right so you'll click on the leads link that's the action and if the lead link appears this particular step has passed you will mark this particular step as passed okay then you move further if say for example you want to you know update or put some comment there then you can also put your comment there okay if you, if there is any evidence that you want to attach simply click on this evidence icon and attach the evidence okay now you move to the next step next step has far passed mark the step has passed and move further similarly you keep going to further steps in your test case and if everything is working ex expected you mark those steps as passed and there is no need to add defect and evidence right i mean evidence you are you will be adding at last or you can add for a specific step as well okay so usually most of the time if you are adding evidence at each and every step it's a lot of overhead so usually what people do is they add the evidence all at once for a particular test case okay so if say for example this step has also passed then you will see the whole test case will be marked as passed okay and here in the findings what you can do is you can add the evidence for the whole test case here by choosing a file or screenshots or whatever way you are saving your evidences okay that's important because if you have simply gone ahead and marked your test cases as a pass but no evidence then it's not a very good practice basically nobody knows what you have basically tested right so that's why evidence is really important now if you go to the activity you will see all of the activity for this particular test right from the beginning okay so you'll see that it has been marked from fail to pass usually if it is the first execution you will see from to do to pass to to do to fail okay so this is basically how you are going to execute your test case within jira x-ray and update all the details within the test execution 
okay so we'll go back to the test execution and you will be able to see that how the test execution looks like and how this particular test execution detail has been recorded in the test run here so we'll see that overall execution status is showing all the executions that we have done for this particular test execution sprint one test execution okay so that's pretty much all about how to execute test cases in jira x-ray this is very important step for the test engineers i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching